Hi everybody. I'm so happy you are joining me today. I have one of my daughter Madison's. This was one of her favorite things when she was growing up and I was um, having a conversation with her the other day and she lives in Utah with her precious sweet family and we were just talking about what was for dinner at her house and she said that she was making this ravioli bake and I was like, oh my gosh, it's been a little while since I made that. I did include it in my um, cookbook and you will find it on page 32 and it's right here in the middle. Um, I love this recipe because really when our daughters were growing up, they all loved it. It was, and it was also so simple and easy to make. You just need three ingredients. You just need those, <clears throat> the, the three cheese ravioli noodles that you can find, you know, in your freezer section. This is a really big bag. You're not gonna need this big old bag um, unless you're feeding an army, but um, this was on sale at Publix, so I just grabbed it. Um, you're also going to need some spaghetti sauce, and this was also on sale today at Publix. And you're gonna need um, two cups of mozzarella cheese. So, it's so simple and easy. You just take a nine by 13 casserole dish, I am going to spray this just a little bit. I have preheated my oven to 350. And so really, basically, you just start layering these ingredients. It's so, so easy. We cannot get, you know, any easier than this. I hope you guys have figured out that my whole thing is Let's make it yummy, let's make it good, but let's make it really simple and easy. So you just take and you just start layering, or I mean just laying out all of these in your dish. Okay. And get these all in here. And then you take all right so then you take your spaghetti sauce and I'm just gonna pour this over the top okay <clears throat> do I need to move this closer so you guys can see and this I'm just gonna take the whole jar put this in <clears throat> I love these awesome spatulas right so I'll just move this up a little closer bring you guys a little closer to me put this down a little bit <clears throat> all right so we're just gonna put in our first layer And then you put half of the cheese on the top. I don't know why I can't get this open. There we go. You just put about half of the bag on there, in there. Okay. And I'm just gonna layer again. It's kind of like you're making lasagna. Kind of that same layering idea. So these are stuck together. <clears throat> Trying to figure out if I can put another. <clears throat> you know what? I am going to put another row right here. Just put your next jar 
of spaghetti sauce over the top. Spread this out. Now, of course, if you wanted to cook some ground beef or sausage and add it to your sauce, you certainly can. Um, but it's just yummy, just like this too. So then you're gonna add the rest of the cheese. I'm gonna spread this out. And then you're just gonna put this in the oven. And let's see, we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the oven. And I will be back when it's done. See you soon. Okay, it is out of the oven and oh my gosh, it smells so good and I can't wait to try it. <clears throat> I think you're gonna love it. And you saw how simple and easy it was. And add this with like a salad and a little garlic bread. It would be, it'll make a yummy dinner. And of course, as you know, oh my goodness, tomorrow this will be even better. To me, like things like this with marinara sauce, um, one more day in the refrigerator and then microwave it, so good. So great now, great as a leftover. So I am gonna take a bite of this. I hope it's not too hot. Mm. Mm. This is so delicious. Your family is going to love this and this is perfect on a, on a cold night. It'll warm you up inside. All right, everyone, I hope that you will try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Um, of course, don't forget to just like and share my post. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are so, so good to me. Um, always remember that you can do hard things, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.